Hey dude and YouTube viewer, thanks for viewing this video. I'm here at uh, Halloween Horror Night 2018 or Halloween Horror Night 28. You can kind of see behind me, above me, are most of the houses that are here at Halloween Horror Night 2018. Uh, I will be going, oops, if I don't get tangled with my skull, they have this uh, Neat little skull here at Halloween Horror Night that is at interactive with all the scare zones and all the uh, haunted houses. It'll turn itself off and on. Uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, but I'm here at Halloween Horror Night 2018 and I will be giving you my review of all the houses, how good they are, or if they're not worth the time. So I'm waiting. Or can't wait to go into Stranger Things, Poltergeist, and Michael Myers since they're all recent TV shows, uh, movies, classic movies, and uh, <coughs> The Purge, and Happy Death Day. So uh, enjoy watching this video of my review of Halloween Horror Night 2018 or Halloween Horror Night 28. Thanks for watching. Welcome back YouTube viewer, I just came from the uh, Blur House, uh, Happy Birthday and The Purge. Uh, the Happy Birthday is a little longer than The Purge, they're both in the same house. I had more jump scares and more jumps out at the uh, Happy Birthday part of it, but since uh, the uh, Purge is so short, couple of people just jumping out at you guys with uh, no shirts on a couple of people with machine guns uh, the house I'll give it a two out of five for the purge part of it and a four out of five for uh, happy death day so I'm here at Halloween Horror Night 2018 Hey YouTube viewers and welcome back. I am here at uh, Slaughter Cinema. About to go into the house. Tell you how it is, how it great for Halloween Horror Night 2018. See you in a few minutes after I get through the house. Right now I'm still waiting in line. We'll be in the uh, house in about 10 minutes. See you in a few. Hey YouTube viewer, I am back from uh, Cinema Sin. Or Sin. Yeah. It's a movie uh, type horror house with uh, all D type movies. And uh, this was a 10 or 5 out of 5 because I'm going 5 things. But. Uh, Holy crap, there's only bad thing about the house is that the audio from the first cinema bleeds into uh, all the house. So if they actually uh, turn the audio down, it would probably be a little better. Um, sorry about the lighting, but the park is dark and it's... Uh, have my little skull here for the light, uh, but it's definitely worth coming to uh, Halloween Horror Night to see cinema. Uh, yeah, whatever it is, but it is really good. Uh, it's worth going. Good uh, design and everything. Good jump scares. There's a big head that you have to watch out for. You will know what I'm talking about when you're there. Um, but it is worth it. Hey YouTube viewer, I'm back. I am going to Patient Zero here at Halloween Horror Night 2018. 
Hey YouTube viewer, thanks for watching the video. I'm back from uh, Patient Zero. Uh, Patient Zero is a uh, 4 out of 5. Very nice uh, detail in, uh, in the house. A lot of a little bit of scares. It's more of uh, lighting than uh, anything else. You're like a little blinded because there's too much light or there's uh, too dark. And uh, I'll get it at 4 out of 5 since it was uh, pretty good. Uh, but you kind of have to follow the person in front of you. You're not really going to get scared too much because of, uh, can't see a damn thing. Just like, uh, somewhat can't see me very well on a uh, video camera on the cam on the cell phone. So, uh, Patient Zero is still a good house. Uh, decorations and everything were really awesome. Uh, but, not a 5 out of 5 yet, but Cinema Sins definitely was a uh, really good house, except for just the audio, that's the only reason why I said it was a 4 out of 5, so I have some good houses this year and some really bad ones. Uh, again, the purge is pretty short, and the Happy Death Day is longer than the purge, which they should have done a hell of a lot better. But uh, off to the next house. See you in a few. Care zone attack. Here I'm about to go into uh, see seed of extinction. See how long, how the weight is, and uh, how the house is. Uh, I have a couple people that say it suck walking in. Hey, YouTube viewers, I am out of uh, seed of extinction, and. The uh, inside of the house is really awesome. The scares weren't that good. Uh, two out of five. Seed of extinction. Let's have the low weight. Don't worry about it. See you in the next house. Hey YouTube viewer, thanks again. I am back here at uh, Universal Studios Halloween Horror Night about to going to another queue line of uh, trick or treat follow Sam's rules or you die if you break them which is always say trick or treat always have candy and I forget what the other one is but uh, and I'm still here stranger things t-shirt and uh in my skull. The cool thing about the skull is as soon as you there's two settings, one you can use it as a decoration when you get home, 
or uh, you can use it here to kind of light your way a little bit. But as soon as it gets into the house, uh, it turns itself off. Then also, uh, when you get into scare zones, it vibrates. It changes a different color, and uh, most of the uh, chainsaw guys will kind of come after you. But it is a nice little bait type deal. So it is fun to have. Also it helps me when it's a little dark to light my face when I'm doing the camera thing. So. See you in a few minutes as soon as I get in. I'll give you uh, my review of it. But Age of, or Seed of Extinction. Uh, was the previous house I went on to. The inside was great. Scares weren't that great. And uh, like I said, it wasn't really worth uh, the 20 minute wait. So, uh, hopefully Trick or Treats is right next to Seed of Extinction, hopefully it's better. But it looks like this year Universal is uh, definitely spending money on the houses, but uh, just the characters aren't doing that well to scare people. <laughs> so, see you in a few. Hey YouTube viewer, thanks for uh, waiting for me to come back out of the trick or treat house. It is actually a 5 out of 5 house. Definitely worth the wait. I definitely have a lot of scares. I have the old man with a shotgun uh, saying, Get off my lawn. Don't do trick or treat here. Uh, the uh, costumes. All the scares are really excellent, awesome. The uh, this year it's like almost all the houses. Universal definitely spent money on uh, making the uh, the houses really excellent. Just some of the houses aren't as scary as they should be, or the jump scares. It's like a push through type deal instead of. Uh, instead of uh, letting a group of people go through. So, uh, definitely trick or treat is uh, definitely worth it. It's five out of five. See you when I get to the next house. 